Beezer Homes is set to drop their latest community, Oakwood, in Folsom Ranch, California. The VIP list is buzzing, but Beezer definitely has thrown us a few curveballs in this specific community. We're going to talk a little bit about it, if it's worth it for investors, first-time home buyers, how the prices stack up comparatively towards TriPoint and Taylor Morrison. Let's get into it right now. Okay, guys, so Oakwood has, uh, the VIP list has been just off the hook for Beezer Homes this looked like it was a complete winner and it looks like it's just blown up like crazy but the thing that we found out today that was a little bit interesting is that the price point right now is a little bit different than our original communications with Beezer as Beezer was saying they were thinking about listing it for like high fives to mid sixes this is a lot different than the, what they were talking about earlier. Now, Beezer has every right to change the pricing. It's their homes and everything too. But I kind of wish they would have been a little firm on the pricing earlier because I know a lot of people had passed up on Taylor Morrison and TriPoint because of their earlier communications with Beezer, assuming because of the communications with Beezer that pricing would be in the high fives and mid sixes. So this is a little bit of a curveball. But like I said, again, Beezer definitely has a right to change their pricing. It is absolutely their homes. Now, the other thing that happened about a week ago was the fact that up till a week ago, Beezer was green lights on selling to investor. Now they are not really sure if they're going to be selling to investors, if they're going to hold off on investors in the first wave. There has never not been really anything set in stone about what they're going to be doing with investors. And I know for a lot of investors, they've been drooling to get their hands on Beezer homes, but they're kind of drooling to get their hands on a Beezer home in the fives or, you know, mid sixes. And like I said, I still think the price point in Folsom, it's competitive, but I do think that they're competing now against some players in that area that, you know, it's going to be a hard one to compete with. So let's show you guys a little bit about the price points. Let's talk a little bit about the floor plans. So here's Oakwood. Like I said, the price points are a little bit higher than we thought they were going to be at. Like I said, I had earlier communications with Beezer and they said they were, they were going to be, or they were thinking about pricing in the high fives, mid sixes. So this, as we see is mid sixes, to low four low sevens now this isn't including lot premiums this isn't including elevation this isn't including upgrades so we're looking at a plan one 649 you're probably looking over 700 for plan one at 1824 square feet for a three bedroom two and a half bath now trust me when i say this i get that Folsom ranch is sizzling hot but I'm looking at this pricing and saying to myself, well, you got Taylor Morrison that's about this pricing and the Taylor Morrison homes, I absolutely love their floor plans. And then you look at TriPoint, that's pretty much like $100,000 less than what they're offering and more square footage. So it kind of makes me wonder like what their pricing, what their idea is, if they're maybe leaning off a, of a... Um, VIP list, it was maybe geared more towards, hey, we're investors looking to buy, and now they've kind of maybe cut out the investors. And number two is, a lot of people were assuming that the price point would be lower with their conversations with the Beezer sales team. So here we go. We got the price point here. We got, you know, these are the floor plans. And like I said, there's nothing like, there's no big, big houses. I mean, they're saying that some of these houses might actually have RV parking, which is nice. But you know, the plan two, we're looking in the sevens. And I don't know. I'm just wondering right now what they're thinking. And if you look at Taylor right now and you look at the price point, a lot of people probably didn't say to themselves, well, you know, this Taylor Morrison square footage is a little bit more, you know, and the price point is right there. And Taylor Morrison has been winning builder award after builder award. And a lot of people, if they walk into a Taylor Morrison home, they actually might go in that direction, especially now that Taylor models are going up. So I don't know if it was a smart thing for Beezer with their pricing competing against Taylor. So I would say if I'm someone who's looking at Beezer home, someone on the VIP list, before I absolutely jumped in and got myself a Beezer home, I might check out Taylor Morrison. I mean, they're offering some great incentives as well too out there. Like I said, Beezer makes a fantastic home, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, I was expecting a lower price point and I thought it was going to be the steal of the deal. The price point they're selling out right now, they're kind of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Taylor Morrison. And a lot of people might want to check out Taylor while they're checking out the Beezer Homes community as well too. I know it's the latest and greatest thing. It's the newest one out there. But I'm going to tell you, the big players in that market are going to be Taylor Morrison, are going to be Beezer now, and TriPoint. And that brings me to TriPoint. You look at TriPoint, and this is their Canterly community, right? 
square footage is, you know, a little bit lower on their, you know, smaller plan one. And of course, it's a shared driveway, but we're looking at a price point starting at 551. So, I mean, I'm kind of curious on the pricing that Beezer did. And I'm also kind of curious as far as why they haven't really said what their policy on investors is going to be. And, you know, and like I said, they have every right to do what they want to do. It's their homes and everything too. But I think that I, the idea of laying out a little bit of a solid guidelines and kind of going into this is the pricing, this is what it's going to be is something that's a little bit fair to people out there who are looking to buy. I mean, I know a lot of investors that we work with were, dial, were lining up at the front doors to buy the Beezer homes, and I put them directly in contact with the Beezer front desk. So the communications were going back and forth, and they were happy until about a week ago until we found out that maybe investors wouldn't be included in the first round. And now with the pricing, it's just one of those things where it just, Beezer might not be as competitive as they were before. And like I said, and then you got over here, you got Lariat, which is one of the hottest new home communities in all of the United States. And we're talking like, you know, same, pretty much same square footage, starting at a price of 575, comparatively towards what Beezer's pricing is gonna be. You know, you got 575, and then you're over here with Beezer's pricing, which is starting at 649, which doesn't include upgrades, lot premium and everything too. So for me, my biggest thing is this. I like Beezer as a builder, and I think that it's fantastic. I wish our communication was a little bit better when it came to what the pricing was going to be. I wish our communication was a little bit better as far as if they're selling to investors or not. Does Beezer make a great home? Yeah, they make a good home. You know, are they someone right now who's going to be competing with Taylor and TriPoint? TriPoint maybe with the pricing and Taylor Morrison just because Taylor's won every single award, humanly possible. It's gonna be interesting to see how it rolls out, but I do think there's gonna be a lot of people who signed up for this VIP list by Beezer who are assuming the pricing was gonna be a little bit better, and a lot of investors that are wondering right now if they can even buy a home at Beezer Homes, Oakwood Community at Folsom Ranch. Like I said, guys, it's gonna be an interesting one this summer, and it's gonna be interesting when Beezer drops if they're gonna sell out like hotcakes or if a lot of people might be looking at other builders at that point. All right, guys, this is Mark. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And like I said, guys, Folsom Ranch is popping with a bunch of great builders. Our team works with a lot of them. We kind of know what's going on in the area. If you guys are looking for a new home in the Folsom Ranch area or in Sacramento in general, we would absolutely love to work with you. Until next time, guys, this is Mark. See ya. Guess what, guys? The video just ended. But don't worry, we have more videos just like that one right over there. And if you miss that red subscribe button during the course of the video, we got you covered right there. Hit that subscribe button. We promise to bring you some amazing content. We won't let you down. Now, if you're looking for a team in the Sacramento metro area to work with, we'd love to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. We always include a Zoom link down below. So book a time where we can talk to you a little one-on-one, -on -one, find out exactly what your real estate needs are.